today I'm going to talk about Molly Bang's wonderful book called Picture This. It's how pictures work. Now Molly Bang is an amazing American illustrator who's done books for the past 50 years, but 20 years ago she decided she wanted to figure out how to talk about how pictures are composed. So she went um, back to uh, study some of the psychology of art and the work of uh, Rudolf Arnheim. So Molly Bang figured out a number of principles that she felt she could talk about and work with in creating a picture. And to create the picture, she chose the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Molly Bang decided to tell the story of Little Red Riding Hood using some of the principles that she had zeroed in on as being key to creating a picture. So to begin with, she selected for Molly, I mean for Red, Little Red Riding Hood, a red triangle. Very fitting. And um, then she thought, okay, now I have to create the next important character, and that would be the mother. So here she has a big triangle. However, looking at the picture, she realized there was a major problem, and that's this. When you're telling a story, visually in particular, you want the main character to be the most salient element throughout the story. So what happens in this picture with these two red triangles is that he, she has made the mother the most important and salient figure in this composition. So she said, that's not going to work. So how about if I change it and give the mother a softer shape? Well... It almost works, but not quite. And that's because there's such a huge quantity of red and a very uh, salient, brilliant piece of red that the big red shape is still more important than the little red triangle. And that's no good for storytelling. So what she does is she made a change. So she made the mother out of a, a damp down kind of lavender. This is her um, wonderful way of explaining how she constructed a pretty scary picture. Taking Molly Bang's principles, uh, we're going to make, I'm going to make a scary picture, talk about how also you can make a scary picture. When Molly Bang conceived of this, she suggested doing the exercise um, by making a picture of scary birds because lots of people are afraid of birds and, um, and with cutouts it's easy to do actually to create some very scary birds very quickly. When I offer this exercise, I say you can make um, a picture of anything that you find scary and so because of that you get a lot of Scary clowns, scary spiders, snakes, intruders, falling planes, you name it. But I'll just play with making a scary bird picture today. And here are the rules. I think I mentioned that you can only use the four colors. You may not use any pencils, so there's no drawing in this exercise. You have to construct the picture with cutout shapes. Now this has the effect of leveling the artistic playing field, so to speak, because as I lovingly say to many of the people I teach, most of you are unfortunately in a state of arrested development. And that's because you stopped drawing at the age of four or five. And in fact, when I've done this workshop with adults and grade sevens, the results are in fact, almost exactly the same, with the exception of there are always a few people who are very skilled at playing with paper or aren't majors. So anyway, 
What's the point? We're going to make a scary bird. So you have to, in your head, in your mind, sort of imagine a bird and just start, you can just start cutting a bird out. And it may take you a few times to get it right. And I'm going to try to make a bit wonkier um, kind of bird because the fact of the matter is I, I do lots of cutouts all the time. So um, this is kind of a wonky looking bird. It doesn't actually look very scary. However, now I'm going to look at what I did. And this is the beauty of cutting out paper and playing with paper. I have several things I can do. I can keep cutting it till I get closer to the shape I wanted. Um, I can go in and cut some weird bits out, even make it sort of three-dimensional. I can make it look a little scragglier. And uh, I can correct some things. So now I might take this thing that I got ended up here with and uh, just turn it into some scary bits that I would add here. And then uh, since I've got this nice piece of paper in my hand, I might do something that would make this a lot scarier. And that is make some kind of a clawed uh, leg coming out of the bird. And um, then I might even look and see what, did, what dropped here. Is there anything I can use? Maybe that's not so scary. The thing with this picture is that you don't want to glue anything down until you've really got it, uh, a bunch of birds. Now, the other thing you can do um, is you can keep... This bird's mouth doesn't look scary enough. I'm going to make it have a much scarier face. Now, that I made a cartoon bird. So you have to keep playing around and you have to be very patient with yourself as you try and make this look scarier and scarier. Did I make it look scarier? Well, you see, I don't want to intimidate you with my great cutting skills. All right. We're going to keep playing around and adding scary bits. And the other thing that I could do is I could fold some paper uh, and cut several birds at one time. So I'm going to try that. And then this time I'm going to start by making little, oopsie, claws. Okay, and then I'm going to make this one. I'm going to pay more attention because I want to have a spiky tail. And then I'm going to make a wing. Then I could maybe make a beak. And another foot that's going to look like it might come out and poke you. Let's see. Now, the thing about wonky things is that, and if we had a whole bunch of them, now we've got more scary birds. But here's something about the composition. So they're just weird looking, I would agree. They're weird looking. But they actually, this isn't actually a very scary picture. What's going to make it scarier is that are these birds going to be going after something? Are they diving down? Are they? Do they have something here they might be going after? Is there some innocent, poor victim about to be attacked? And would it be good if maybe we had a whole bunch more birds? So 
let's just imagine and wouldn't it have been smart if I just cut a whole bunch ahead of time but I didn't so I'm just gonna quickly cut a few more very funny wonky birds although why do I say funny because I'm supposed to be doing scary not funny all right I'm going to cut two more out and then what do you suppose I should make for a victim that we would feel okay so they're scary in a way because they're so ugly all right and they're coming it's sort of like the birds I think when Molly Bang she's about the same age I am and we all remember that very scary Alfred Hitchcock movie the birds so the point of this picture is that we've made some scary things whether it's birds or snakes or lizards or spiders although you know when you make a scary spider you have to be sure that you have the right number of legs on the spider otherwise what you create, in fact, is uh, just a silly looking bed bug or a flea, which is not ultimately that scary. Uh, okay, so now, um, since we just did Little Red Riding Hood, maybe I could just quickly make Little Red Riding Hood. Maybe instead of a wolf, she's going to be, um, unfortunately, attacked by a bunch of birds. So we'll just have her walking along in the woods. And then we have a focus for the birds to go after. I should have made just a red triangle, because since we all know what that would mean. Okay, so we can put this poor little red riding hood down and then have the birds aiming at her in some fashion. or. She could be surrounded, and they could be dive-bombing her. What I'm also demonstrating is that as you create something, especially using cut paper, you can keep manipulating everything until you get the scariest possible thing going. And this is the thing about picture composition, is that it sometimes does take quite a bit of manipulation um, to turn it scary. Now. Molly Bang was not only interested in creating scary pictures and in the principles that she um, sussed out of the work that had been done, um, we might have chosen uh, to make not a scary picture, but a very peaceful picture. So if we changed the, um, these birds a little bit and made them friendlier, we might be able to make a more a peaceful picture and we could have little red riding hood just sauntering along in the woods and um, nothing's going to attack her these birds might just suddenly become leaves underfoot anyway we can look at the different principles that she came up with and decide to make a very peaceful picture um, a very um, anxious picture, a very happy picture, sad, depending on the colors.